Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss back propagation algorithm in neural network with a simple numerical example. The contents of the video are first we will try to understand how to build a neural network, then we will try to understand how to assign weights to the neural network, then we will train the neural network. Once you train the neural network, we will predict the output with respect to given input. Based on the output, uh, we will try to find out the error. If the error is acceptable, we will stop here. Otherwise, we will try to update the weights so that we can reduce the error in this case. So first, uh, we will try to understand what are the different components of uh, neural network. There are mainly three components in uh, neural network. One is the input layer, second one is uh, hidden layer and the third one is output layer. In this case, I am going to consider an input layer with uh, two input neurons, output layer with uh, one neuron and hidden layer with uh, two neurons in this case. This is how the neural network uh, looks like. Here I1 and I2 are the input layer neurons, H1 and H2 are the hidden layer neurons, out is the outu output layer neuron in this case. W1, W2, W3, W4 are the hidden layer weights, W5 and W6 are the output layer weights in this case. Neural network training is about finding the weights so that we can find the output with a minimum error. First what we do is uh, we will assign some uh, random weights to the neural network and then uh, we will try to update this particular weights with respect to back propagation algorithm so that we can get the minimum error at the output layer. So these are the initial weights to this particular neural network w1 is 0.11 w2 is equal to 0.21 and so on once you assign these particular weights to the neural network it looks something like this 0 0.11 0 0.21 0 0.12 0 0.08 are the hidden layer weights 0 0.14 and 0 0.15 are the output layer weights in this case now uh, we need to train our uh, model or you can say that the neural network for that reason we need some input so in this case the input is uh, 2 and 3 that is i1 is 2 and i2 is equal to 3 here and the actual output in this case is 1 here. So this is how actually it looks like. Given this input uh, what we do is uh, we will try to forward pass or we will try to move this particular input from input layer to output layer uh, so that we can get the output here. To move this particular input from input layer to output layer, uh, we will apply uh, two things. One is called as uh, the summation function and second one is uh, activation function. To make it simple, in this case, I am not going to consider any activation function. Just we will consider the summation function here. To get the output at the hidden layer, we use uh, the, this equation that is uh, 2 multiplied by 0 0.11 plus 3 multiplied by 0 0.21 that is input multiplied by weight will give you this uh, output. Similarly, if you want to calculate the output at uh, the H2, 2 multiplied by 0 0.12 plus 3 multiplied by 0 0.08 is applied, we will get a 0.48 in this case. That is being shown over here. Once you get the outputs at hidden layer, we can multiply these things to the weights so that we can get it, uh, get the output at the output layer that is shown over here. It can be done uh, with respect to matrix multiplication also. The input is 2, 3, W1, W2, W3, W4. Once you multiply it, you will get the output at H1 and H2. If you multiply this with uh, W5 and W6, that is these two weights, you will get the output at the output layer here. So we got the output at the output layer or you can say that the predicted output that is 0.191. Now our next task is to calculate the error. You can calculate the error with uh, different uh, functionalities. So in this case, I am going to use the error function as uh, half the square difference between the predicted output minus the actual output. We know that the actual output is 1. The predicted output is uh, 0 0.191. So once you put those particular values here, you will get the error as 0 0.327 in this case. Now, uh, once you calculate this particular error, our ultimate goal is to reduce this particular error. So that is what the main uh, the part of this particular discussion. But the question comes in front of us, how to reduce this particular error? So if you want to reduce this particular error, we need to understand how this particular error is calculated. The error is calculated with respect to output. 
and uh, the actual output so actual output we cannot modify the only possibility is to calculate or modify the uh, predicted output so the predicted output is calculated by multiplying h1 with respect to, to weight 5 and h2 multiplied by weight 6 in this case in turn h1 and h2 are calculated by multiplying i1 w1 plus i2 w2 similarly i1 w3 plus i2 w4 so if you look at this particular equation we have uh, the inputs as well as the weights in this case again we cannot modify this particular input the input is constant output is constant that is the actual output the only thing is we can modify the prediction output so that can be done uh, by modifying these particular weights so once you modify this particular weights there is a possibility that we can reduce the uh, error in this case in back propagation algorithm we propagate the errors backward that is the first thing and we use something called as the gradient descent weight updation equation to update the weights here so this is the equation for weight updation it has uh, different components like uh, wx is equal to wx minus a multiplied by derivative of error with respect to wx where wx is the old weight if you subtract the learning rate multiplied by the derivative term we will get the new weight in this case for example if you want to update uh, w6 the new w6 is always equal to old w6 minus learning rate multiplied by derivative of error with respect to w6 in this case so here a is a constant wx is the old weight we need to know how to find out this particular derivative term so that we can find out the new weight here so the derivative term will look uh, something like this for the output layer these are the things that's a derivative term for the hidden layers these are the derivative term so we will try to understand first uh, how the derivative term is calculated so while calculating the derivative term we will multiply the input with respect to the output uh, the error in this case for w5 if you consider w5 here the input is 0.85 and the error is here for w6 the input is h2 and the error is over here so error is calculated like uh, the predicted output minus the actual output that is nothing but the delta here so that is what has been written so delta multiplied by input will give you the derivative term here so that is with respect to the output layer uh, weights in this case but when it comes to input layer weights if you want to find out the derivative term here we need to know what is the error here we know the error at the output layer that is 0.191 minus 1 that is delta but we don't know what is the error at this uh, hidden layer so if you want to know the error at the hidden layer we have to multiply error at the output layer and the weights here for example if you want to know the error at uh, h1 0.14 multiplied by error at the output layer if you want to know what is the error at this uh, h2 the weight is 0.15 multiplied by the delta that is the error at the output layer so that is what the error term first of all at h1 and h2 and if you want to calculate the derivative term for w1 w2 we have to multiply i1 and i2 here and uh, if you want to calculate the derivative term for this one that is uh, we can say that uh, w3 and w4 again we have to multiply i1 and i2 respectively here so that is what has been shown in these particular four equations the same thing can be represented in the form of matrix for the first two that is output layer uh, weights w5 w6 is equal to w5 w6 minus a multiplied by this uh, error term multiplied by h1 and h2 uh, for uh, hidden layer weights w1 w2 w3 w4 w1 w2 w3 w4 minus a multiplied by error that is this error multiplied by this particular i1 and i2 that is i1 and i2 multiplied by the weights here that is w5 and w6 that is what we have written so once you put this particular uh, values at the easy values at these equations we will get the modified weights here so we know the values we have already calculated all the values we will put it in these equations so that we will get the modified weights a more important point to remember like uh, the delta term that is the error is uh, the predicted output minus the actual output and a is the learning rate we need to set a small number over here now in this case uh, once you put all the values so we got the uh, updated weights w5 is 0.17 and w6 is 0.17 
W1, W2, W3, W4 are 0 0.12, 0 0.23, 0 0.13, 0 0.10 respectively. Once you find this uh, new uh, weights, the neural network looks something like this. Again, we will propagate this particular input from input layer to output layer. Once you propagate it uh, with the help of summation function as well as activation function, but I am not using activation function here, we got the actual uh, predicted output as 0 0.26 and where our actual output is uh, 1.0 now if we consider this uh, output the previously it was uh, point, uh, 0.191 now it is uh, 0 0.26 this 0 0.26 is uh, towards your actual output that is 1 here the meaning of this particular thing is so we have reduced this particular error to some extent in this case by updating the weights here the same process is repeated until we reach this uh, the error is equal to 0 or at least it reaches towards that particular zero in that case. So once uh, we get uh, the acceptable error term, we will stop uh, training this particular uh, neural network and the final weights are the last iteration weights in that case. Now in this uh, video, I have discussed uh, how to build a neural network, how to assign the weights, how to calculate the error at the output layer and how to modify the weights with respect to the error at the output layers. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share this video with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.